Hi guys, Max here with another quick and easy After Effects tutorial. Now in today's tutorial we're going to be going over how to create the glitchy SNL text you see on the show because we did an SNL styled video for work one day, a little skit, and it introduced a bunch of people from work for a quarterly event that we have. And if you want to watch this video, leave a comment and I will gladly put a link in the description. Alright, so to give a little example of what this looks like. So, cuts of some people, then it shows um, their name on the screen. Really fancy, It really simple, kind of glitches out for a second and then shows up. So, nothing too complicated, just some, we went out and filmed one day, all these people at work, one day shooting, and uh, a couple days of editing with all these names and fun music and stuff. So, yeah, that's it. So... How do we make it? Really simple. First off, we need to open up After Effects. Now that After Effects is open, we need some footage. So what we're going to do is grab some footage I have of my nephew. Let's take a look at it real quick. It's him running around, doing nephew things. So uh, he's running around. He's got a ball. That's my older brother walking behind him. And he's having a good old time. Look at there. All right. So first off, we need a new... Composition, comp one, doesn't matter what it's called. Um, let's make it five seconds long because we don't really need that much time. You know, it's seven seconds, so 07. 23.976, 1920 by 1080, looks good to me, click OK. Now we need to take our footage and drag it in. Now how you put your footage in here, whether it be from Premiere or anywhere, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna show you how to make the actual text. So if I do remember correctly though, this is a 4K clip. So this is a 1920 by 1080 comp, so we need to make this clip smaller to fit our comp. So click on the footage, hit S for scale, change the 100% to 50, which makes it 1920 by 1080. Cool. It's only 8 seconds long, so let's move it back some. Scroll the footage back to a nice part of the clip be like. So uh, right about here. Looks good to me. <laughs> He's a happy boy. Awesome. Next off, we need to have a point in our footage where we want the text to be on the screen. So what we're going to do is right about here, we'll click our text tool, and we'll call this, I don't know, baby walking. And that looks about good. We're using tungsten bold right now. So uh, what we're going to do is let's... Uh, Space this down one. Sometimes when you space it down, it'll look like this or look all stretched out. What you got to do is highlight it. Grab this right here, this little number with these A above A. I don't know, was this the leading? Yes, the leading. And move it down to something you like. And what I'm going to do next is actually kind of space this over a little bit. And maybe we'll um, move the anchor point to the middle. Maybe we'll increase the size a little bit. Scale it up. So when it stops glitching, it'll be right about there. And be like, baby walking. Looks good to me. Cool. So what we're going to do now is actually pre-compose this. Pre-compose is called this text. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is actually um, get this thing to jump around. So what we're going to do is drop down this little transform tag. We would normally hit P for position, but I like having it all open for this. Because what we're going to do is actually key everything. So click the hourglass, key all of it. Um, some of them are not needed to be keyed, but I do it all just because you never know what I'll be editing. So what we're going to do now is actually scroll back in time a little bit and move it to maybe change the scale, make it a little bigger. Scroll back in time a little bit, move it, change the scale, scroll back in time a little bit, move it, change the scale again, scroll back in time a little bit, move it, and change the scale just a bit, move it down some. So it does this across the screen, maybe we'll do it one more time. Start over here, make the scale really big, like that, cool. So it moves like this, right now it's just wavy all over the screen, but we will fix this, cool. What we're going to do now is actually offset all of these. So 
move this keyframe to the middle. Move this keyframe, maybe keep this one about the same. Move this one forward, move this right here. Take these and move them back some. So it moves like this. And this is the big next trick that makes this really cool because we saw in the original video, we never actually saw anything moving. It just jumped on the screen. If you watch, you can see where it'll just jump around, but we want it to not just kind of like scroll or move. We want it to jump. How do we do that? So right now it's kind of like scrolling around. We want it to jump. What we're going to do is highlight all the keyframes. Click Option Command. Click. We'll do that one more time. Highlight everything. Hold Option Command on your keyboard um, and click. And that's for a Mac. Um, it'll be Option or Alt and Control for a PC. But yeah. So now, if we scroll out and we play this, give it a second to jump around. Look at that. Looking pretty nice so far. What we gotta do now is actually take these keyframes and move them a little closer. Let's move the first one to be right here. This to be right here. Maybe move it. So make it a little smaller. Move it. Call option click on both of these. And take these keyframes and push them together. We need this to be a lot faster. It's only about two seconds long. Give it another play. Cool. Let's change this around actually. Let's move some keyframes. And what I'm really doing is just kind of guessing. I mean, none of this really matters too much. So you just kind of like guess. That looks nice. Yeah, so it jumps around the way I like it. Feel free to change your keyframes around. Do whatever you want. So now that we got this the way we want it, what we're going to do is kind of customize it a little bit. So to give it a little more extra pizzazz. What we're going to do is actually go to the beginning, click U on our keyboard, see our keyframes, and start it right here. Close this down so the text appears right here and then moves around. Now what we're going to do now is actually something pretty neat. So go to the very end and take this layer and duplicate it. So command D to duplicate the layer. So there's two of these and what we're going to do is take the one on bottom, click the pen tool, make sure the one on top is hidden and take the pen tool on your bottom layer and actually draw a mask around the bottom text. Now you can choose whatever you want to do this. It doesn't matter. Um, but we're kind of separating these two. So in the next, we're going to hide this layer, turn the top one on, take our pen tool, and actually draw a, ra a mask around the other one. So there's two, basically two separate ones now that do the same thing. How cool is that? What we're going to do now is actually highlight both and click U on our keyboard. You just go to one of them and actually just change the keyframes up a little bit. Kind of drag them around, switch a few around. It'll make it really freak out because they're not going to follow the exact same path. So now they're jumping around separately on the screen. And even cooler is what you can do is actually move this one over a little bit. So boom, 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 boom. Walking gets there, then baby jumps up there. How cool is that? What we can do now is actually duplicate the top layer 
and then click option bracket right here, option bracket right here, and move it. So we're making a gap right here where this layer will blink. Gone, back. Just like that. Maybe we'll move it over and move this over. Cool. All right. Let's give it a watch. Looking really good. It's glitchy. It's jumping around. I like it a lot. Now, yet again, what you can do is you can take this, duplicate them as many times as you want, create different masks to hide different letters. For instance, you could just, you know, instead of hiding a uh, baby walking or just baby, you could hide just BA and then. Um, duplicate the layer and hide by and make that change the same way but we're keeping it uncomplicated here and doing it this way so I think we can add a couple more layers of effects on this to make it pretty cool so what we're gonna do is take this entire thing pre-compose call it anything you want I'm call it section because I don't know that sounds important and fancy <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is actually duplicate this layer so it's the same thing on top of each other then what we'll do is click the bottom layer, click the little 3D tool right here. If it's not showing, you can right click, columns, and is it switches? Yes. Right click columns, switches, pops up this little thing right here. Click the 3D um, layer on the, the bottom layer, which is this. Then we're gonna click down on the transform tool and move this over to the end. We're gonna move it over. We're going to scale it up a lot, pretty big. Then what we'll do is take the X rotation, Y rotation, move it over like this, maybe tilt it down some, make it a even bigger, maybe a little smaller now. Cool. Then what we're going to do is click T on our keyboard for opacity, bring the opacity down a whole bunch. Then take effects and presets right here. If your effects and presets panel is nowhere to be found, you can go to window, effects and presets, and it'll pop up. Type radial blur. It was already in there, but you can type it in. Put it on this bottom layer. It's really blurry. Let's drop this down to about one. And yeah, we have a little bit of a blurred background, but it's still following the same path right now. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do is actually take this back layer and move it up some. So it actually f jumps in separately. Just like that. Cool. And what we're going to do now is actually add some color to this image. So we'll go to, I guess, exposure. Bring up the exposure of the background layer. Go to hue and saturation just to give it a little color. Hmm. He's looking a little uh, little orange, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, just kind of brighten the background image up, which means we can take the back layer of section, which is the blurrier one, click T on your keyboard, and bring up the opacity a little bit just to see it and one more layer of effects to make this thing look really cool what we're gonna do is bring in some bokeh which I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can download this free bokeh pack but basically um, I have a big library of rampant 4k tools that were completely free that you can download on your own and what we're gonna do is bring in this bokeh number one drag it right into here it's just like shimmery looking bokeh that goes in the background and what we're gonna do is take it and drag it right above our video layer click S for scale scale it down some then drop down the mode to screen then take the opacity drop it down some and let's click play and it looks like this thing's running well we have a really really awesome baby walking shot now there's a whole other thing a lot of things you can do to this you can um 
change the colors. I don't know, go to fill on this, change the colors, jump in here, grab these text tools. Let's take a, put a fill on the bottom one, baby. Let's make it a different color. Blue and on the top layer. Maybe we'll do or the bottom layer. Let's do some kind of like nice light red. So it actually jumps in at white. Then baby walking is red. And now our background is a different color too, which you can fix that by clicking putting a fill on this, changing it back to white. I mean, there's all kinds of crazy stuff you can do with this. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this. It's a quick and easy tutorial on how to make this cool SNL styled glitchy text for your videos. But I am Max. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, thanks, guys. I hope this helped. I'll catch you next time. Peace.